Hello and welcome to Portable YouTube channel. Myself Traffic Nixon. Today we are going to learn how you can declare list and array using the expression and how we can initialize the values to those list and array variables. Okay, and we are going to see a ma main difference between list and array in this video. So please try to watch the entire video and try to understand the concept in, uh, in uh, list and array. Okay. So I already created the project activity and I created one workflow here, list and array. And what I'm going to do is let me go to activities. Let me drag and drop the assign activity. And uh, let me create two variables. Okay. So I'm going to name it like my list. So this is my list variable. Okay. And uh, how you can uh, choose the variable type so for that what you can do is go to browse for types here just search for collection okay then scroll down So here uh, you will be able to find uh, system dot collection dot generator. So click on that, and uh, here I'm going to select string as a type. Click on OK. Okay. Then I'm going to choose my list over here. Okay. Also I'm going to create a new uh, array variable my array, and uh, I'm going to select it here for type uh, string of array. Okay. Okay, so that's it. So we have created two variables my list and my array. My list is of type uh, list of string, and my array is of type uh, string of array. Okay, array of string. Okay, then uh, let me write the expression for uh, declaring and initializing the list variable. So the expression is like new list of string. So if you are going to declare a string uh, list, then you need to give it like string, or if it is of integer means, you need to give it like a int 32. Okay, so string. Then if I want to initialize the values, how I can do it? it should be like new string then I need to provide the values over here so let me put it like mm, UI path comma automation anywhere okay so let it be so these are the two variables which I have uh, declared and uh, uh, I have created a list okay list of string then you will pass the automation table and I need to close that okay so the expression is new base list bracket of string then close the bracket then start a new bracket then new string then two brackets then inside curly bracket you need to declare the value sorry uh, the values to the list okay so that's it and uh, let me add a new as an activity and I'm going to initialize the value for my my array variable. Okay, so one of the main difference between array and list is list we need to declare manually and array is a predefined variable. Okay, so we don't need to declare that variable. Okay, so how we can uh, assign the values to that new string of value or uh, let me give it like uh, Facebook Instagram 
okay so that's it or another method of initializing uh, the array, array variable is my array then uh, use a curly bracket and you can give it like a, a B okay so like this way also you can declare a array variable okay because uh, sorry you can initialize a array variable because an array is a predefined variable and you you can directly give the values inside a curly bracket okay so this is another approach so let me delete this and what I'm going to do is here you can see uh, I have added two uh, values to that list and here I have added two values to that list okay so let me use a message box and uh, let me try to give my list of two okay so my list of two so currently it is of index 0 and 1 and I, I have given my list of 2. So let me try to execute this. Okay, so it is showing the error like index was out of range. What I am going to do, I need to add one more element to the list. So I am going to use add to collection activity or we have another the activities are also available for that for adding to the list okay so if you switch with list you will be able to see create list append item to list read list or update list item so these are four uh, very useful activity which is offering by uipa for uh, working with the list variable okay. but here i am going to use add to action activity and what is my uh, <coughs> list name my list okay then i'm going to enter a new uh, variable sorry value so let me give it like a blue prism type should be of type a string okay so okay. let me execute <coughs> okay so i'm getting the various blue prism. okay so next what i'm going to do is let me use add collection again and I'm trying to add a value to my array. Okay, my array. And uh, let me put it like opt. Okay, so I'm going to add a new value to my array variable. Okay, and uh, let me try to print it over here. My array. So let me try to execute. Okay, so it is throwing the array like add to collection, collection was of fixed size. So it means the array is of fixed size and list you can expand as me. Okay, so you can add uh, uh, many values to the uh, list even though it is declared and uh, there is no uh, size for the list. But if you want to add a new value to uh, the array that, is, that will not be possible, you have to declare the size of the array uh, during the initialization. Okay, so I hope you are clear about that. Delete it. Okay, so that's it. So hope you got a clear understanding about how you can initialize uh, the listed array using uh, the expression and how you can initialize the value. Okay, so let me delete this. Okay let's move on to the activities which is offered by uipa okay suppose if i want to create a new list how we can how we can do that let's use create list okay so here i can directly choose what is the category suppose if i want to choose number to select number then here i need to declare the list suppose uh, i have one list variable so i'm going to use the same thing so my list so this is my list variable uh, okay, sorry. Uh, here my list is of a type of string, so it will not accept. So let me declare again my list number. Okay, so 
this is of uh, this is a new variable uh, my list and uh, it is of a type uh, number okay then uh, if i want to add uh, new uh, data to this my list uh, number what i can do i can use append item to list okay then what is the variable my list number list number okay and what is the item that i need to add so consider i need to add um, what's up okay oh sorry this is of a type number so i need to add um, so just consider 100 I have given in 32 my list number Okay, so we have created the variable my uh, list number. So let me go to variable. So it is of type uh, i list of type uh, int 32, and uh, uh, we have added value 100 to the my list number. Right. So let me do one thing. Let me use a message box. Okay, and uh, let me print the value my list number of 0. Okay, dot to string. Let me try to execute this. Okay, so it is giving the value like 100. And what we can do is, so just consider you have declared one array and if you want to change some value uh, in that particular list, so what you can do? For that, we can use update list item okay so before that let me do one thing let me add uh, 200 also okay so now we have uh, two values inside of this particular list so now what i'm going to do is i want to update the value of the first uh, uh, value in the list so let me choose my list number. Okay, then what is a new value? Let me give it like a five hundred. Okay. And uh, okay, so the type should be under thirty two, and what is the index zero? Right, so the first value I need to update, and uh, let me try to use the message box again. Here the value is uh, before updating and here the value is after updating the okay. So let me try to execute. So here you can see the first value in the uh, list my list number is 100 and after updating the value got changed to 500. So uh, using the index of that particular list whatever the value that you want to modify you can modify it. that is one. Uh, create flexibility of uh, list variables okay then uh, another thing is read list item so let me try and drop read list item what is a list my list number item 
starting from zero okay so you have to let me create a video here list data so that's it data should be of type of int okay then i'm going to use message for okay save it Okay, so the first value in the uh, list is 100 and it is updating to 500. Okay, then okay, so this uh, read list item it will help to read the data from the uh, list variable. Okay, so here what we have done, uh, for we have passed the index of that particular uh, value and we are retrieving the value. So instead of that, if we want to uh, get the value by passing the index directly to the read list item, you can pass that index and you can get the value to a variable. Okay, then that variable you can use it for another operation. Okay. Instead of using the index directly in the expression, you can use this activity for retrieving the values from the list. Okay, so this is how we can use, use uh, these four activities which is providing by UFR for working on the list variable. Hope you got the clear understanding about how you can declare uh, list and array using expressions and uh, uh, what are the uses of the four uh, list activities uh, which is provided by data. So if there is any confusion regarding these uh, four activities and the declaration of list and array, please do comment in the section. And if you are watching this video uh, or visiting our channel for the first time, please do subscribe the channel and please give your valuable comment and don't forget to uh, share with your Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Bye.